Hi, it's Sophie Alexander, Nutritional Wellness Center of Ithaca. Joining you here on this um, gloomy gray, <laughs> hi, everybody. Yeah, gloomy gray Thursday. My um, computer is jumping quite a lot with my screen, so I hope that this has started. <laughs> and I'm just going to wait for a few minutes to, for some folks to join me. Um, and, and I'll just say again, yeah, I'm here today to talk all about um, nutrition and herbs for respiratory health, which I'm excited about because, um, well, it's very relevant, right? I picked it just in the sense that there's so much worry about this one particular respiratory virus um, um, currently causing issues. Uh, but of course, this is these are, these are broad things that I'll be sharing about that can um, impact all sorts of um, lung health. Yeah, and so all right, I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer just to see if any um, wait for folks to join us. See if any folks have any questions. Make sure people are finding me. Uh, all this new technology, right? We've been using lots of Zoom in the office and doing so much more with Facebook Live and things like that. And um, it is uh, all new learning curve, right? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, my computer is not giving me the type of information that I'm used to seeing just about people joining and finding us. And it really is very shaky connection. So I hope it's okay on your guys's end. Um, all right. No, all right. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some folks start to find me. Okay, good. All right. So apologies to those who've been watching since the beginning and seeing me to sort of wait, but, um, thank you for joining me today to talk about nutrition and herbs for respiratory health. Um, I feel like this is, this is a key topic just as we learn better how to take care of our lungs and um, just in broader understanding, right, of how you can be empowered to stay healthy and even if you do get sick, recover quickly. Um, so, all right, one of the biggest things I see from a nutrition perspective with anyone prone to um, respiratory issues, you know, meaning like struggle with asthma or struggle with asthma, uh, allergies, excuse me, affecting the lungs, um, or are, um, subs get reoccurring bronchitis, or um, when they get sick, it really settles in their chest. A big theme amongst, amongst those people that I see clinically is they really don't do well with dairy. Um, so a lot of times that it can be resolved very, very quickly um, if we cut the dairy out of their diet. Um, and so I see this a lot with small children and asthma, um, and and I see it with, uh, but I see it with adults as well. And so you can apply this in the sense if you've got something chronic going on, I would not recommend um, having dairy regularly um, at all. But if you are someone just in start struggling with an acute lung cold or um, infection, then temporarily cutting the dairy out also helps your body respond really quickly. Um, in my practice, I also see a, lot, a connection between the lungs and the liver. And I see a lot of um, feedback between with the, the nutrition response testing technique that I use that the health of the liver very much impacts the health of lungs. And so one of the main things that I teach people to do to take good care of their liver is to avoid bad fats. And so what I mean by bad fats is I mean to stay far, far away from canola oil, from safflower oil, from sunflower oil, um, from anything with trans fats, and to eat instead, you know, um, to eat good quality butter, to eat coconut oil, to eat eat extra virgin olive oil, um, to eat avocado oil, and things like that. And it really comes down to that these bad fats cause a lot of stress to be processed and broken down by our liver, which does digest fat. And, um, and it really ends up congesting the liver significantly, bogging down its functions, bogging down its bile ducts, 
and that um, impacts a lot the the circulation of the body, uh, the digestive further digestive breakdown. And um, when the liver is struggling, liver's congested, liver's backed up, I see a lot of backing up happen with the lungs as well. So one of the great ways that you can um, help the liver and its bile flow and decongest it is to eat beets. Beets really help thin the bile and um, help that clear out of the body, help, help everything that the body puts into the bile then clear out through the GI tract. Um, and liver also loves greens, so everybody can all benefit from eating more greens, and um, that particularly helps support the liver um, with its detoxification cycles. One thing that I recommend that everybody do at least once a year um, for good liver health, and right now is a great time for it because um, it is spring and we are going from that transition into from winter into spring, and this is a, a good time for a liver cleanse. Um, so I recommend that everyone at least once a year do the standard process purification program, which is a very comprehensible, doable, and effective um, liver and digestive repair um, cleanse that is for three weeks. And I'll actually be talking more about that cleanse and having a special guest join me, my um, standard process rep, uh, Dr. Jeff Smith, this Thursday. We'll be talking about it at 2.30 p.m. Uh, but I love that as a liver tool and use it very regularly in practice. Um, and so, but I wanted to really get into um, some more products and herbs today um, just because I have a, a background in herbal medicine. I love it and I find it's really effective, especially when, um, when something more severe has onset. And so um, a broad product that I use for the lungs when there's um, congestion, cough, whether it's tied to allergies or whether it is tied to um, some kind of viral or cold is a product called Antronex from Standard Process. And Antronex is a really cool product because it is a liver extract and, um, and thus it works mainly on the liver, but it's incredibly effective for sinus congestion, lung congestion, um, coughs, particularly when it's um, in the range of affected by allergies. So um, it, yeah, any, any kind of, I have um, some dust allergies and I was digging through an old drawer and, and getting um, dust mite exposure and started really chest started to tighten up and um, get that symptom. And I pop a couple of and and it, it clears right up. Um, if you are starting to get ill and it is settling in the lungs, it feels like a, you know, viral or bacterial issue that is, um, starting to impact, impact the lungs, start to develop a cough or a tightness or, or mucus to support the immune side. I highly recommend a product called Andrographis Complex from MediHerb. And I forgot to grab the bottle and box to, to just show you all. Um, but Andrographis is a blend of uh, echinacea and holy basil. And it's a wonderful blend for um, immune system support and it also having um, lung benefits, lung tonifying benefits. Um, if you're at the more early stages of um, a lung or, or an immune challenge, excuse me, that is affecting the lungs, then I recommend herbs. Um, like licorice and pleurisy root, as I mentioned earlier, echinacea, uh, white whorehound, thyme, and ginger. And you can um, use those in teas and they also all come together in a formula, um, also from MediHerb called Bronk Effect. I don't know if you can even see that on the screen, but, um, and this is a tablet and you take that multiple times a day and it, it really hurt, helps those earlier stages. If things become um, further developed, meaning developing more of like a hacking cough or there's a lot more mucus in the lungs, um, then that's where I recommend herbs more like mullein and elecampane, grindelia. Um, but I also love the warming herbs, ginger, fennel, um, thyme, as I just mentioned as well. 
And again, those are all wonderful in um, tea form or if you are able to find them in tincture form. I personally work with them in um, uh, tablet form. They all come as one formula, again, from MediHerb. The formula is called Resco. I don't have a bottle of that to show today either, but it's another wonderful tablet that taken multiple times a day can really help the body move through, um, move through the illness. Um, another formula and a set of herbs that I love to work with that I find is really helpful, especially with kids, because I work with it, it comes in liquid form and it has just so many different things in it, is this blend called Core Mer Blend from Energetics. And so this is another all herbal blend um, that contains the mullein leaf I was mentioning earlier, contains myrrh, which myrrh is a strong um, immune supporting herb, but is also lung specific. And so I find that if it's starting to settle more into the chest or become bronchitis or um, just seems more, more lung specific type of illness, then this really helps it to clear out of there as well. Um, I love this um, formula too because of the cherry bark that's in it, also helps with coughs. Um, has the Ella Campaign that I mentioned earlier. It has marshmallow for a slippery elm, which are so soothing, especially if the lungs start to um, feel really sore and it's just from coughing so much. And um, works great for small children. You know, it, you just put it in water um, or higher doses. I've seen just great, great results with clients, especially ones um, who've been prone to bronchitis and they start taking this at the onset and it doesn't, it doesn't settle in the lungs. It doesn't turn into bronchitis. Um, so I don't know if any of you who are watching have any questions for me today, but those are my, some of my favorite formulas. And there's really, um, um, in, in broader practice, meaning people around the world who use MediHerb um, and who are actively treating people who are diagnosed with this coronavirus, the COVID-19 that, that we're currently all dealing with, um, they do have clinical experience using it in those cases. I personally have um, yet to work with anyone who was diagnosed with COVID-19. Um, so I don't have any personal clinical experience about how these are applied except with, um, as I spoke earlier about allergies and um, asthma, and then of course, the multitude of other viral and bacterial infections that we all deal with and when we get sick on a regular basis. So I see them work wonderfully in those situations, um, but I'm glad to be able to share that um, you know, around the world with other people using MediHerb and using standard process also see um, great benefits when treating people with COVID-19. Yeah. So I hope this, you know, continues to help you feel empowered about how you can take care of your health. Um, and especially if you do start to feel unwell, that it sets you up well for the fall and the winter, which is more respiratory cold season. Um, and keeps keeps you well all right thank you so much for joining me today and be well